project going on. This is a 1948 Super A International tractor, uh, four cylinder engine, four speed transmission, and it's got a six foot uh, woods mower deck under it, and we use it for mowing here on the farm. Um, we have a steering issue going on today, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to fix that without really buying any parts and pieces. I've looked online and to be honest, can't find the parts that I need. So I'm going to try to fabricate them. But first, I want to thank everyone for all of the thoughts and the prayers and the kind words and the comments as we went through my dad's passing uh, about eight weeks after he was diagnosed essentially with untreatable cancer. He passed away on the 18th of September and um, so I want to thank everyone for everything that you did for us there. Uh, it's kind of been a tough time and will continue to be a tough time for a while. I'm sure mom's been gone. It'll be 12 years in February and it's still a tough time. So many of you have been through this and so I just want to thank everybody again. Now onto this project. Um, it's kind of an odd way that they have this steering set up. This is what the steering wheel turns from side to side and these these round ends go up inside this, one on each side. And what happens is they got enough wear on them, I'm going to have to do a bit of welding on this one, that one of them fell out. And when it did, in the center of this were two metal plates curved on each side to fit these balls with a spring in between. And we've lost those parts. And Jamie borrowed a, um, a metal detector and we've still been unable to find the parts. So we're going to try to fabricate some new parts. Um, don't know if this will work, but I think it will. What I have here is a ball, which I won't use, and a seat. And they are out of an inch and a half insert pump used in the oil field in downhole pumps at the bottom of an oil well. These are stainless steel and they're about the right size to actually fit the curvature of this ball. So what I've got to do is grind them off to where they fit inside the steering apparatus. And then I will put two of those in there and I will cut a piece of this spring to go in between them. And we will see if that will work. I've got quite a bit to grind off of these. So when I get this one ground down to this size, then we should be able to put this together and see if it will work. And so, between a sidearm grinder and a bench grinder back at the back of the shop, I'm going to grind this seat down to this size. So I've got these two seats ground off to the right diameter and I also ground a washer down to the right diameter to go between them because there's not room to put a spring which I was kind of afraid of that. So we're going to try it without a spring. Um, I'm going to pack a little wheel bearing grease on the ends of these. Kind of pack it full and then it's got a grease cert here so I can keep it greased and we will see if uh, if I can get by with doing it this way. So this goes up in here. The first one of those goes in. Push the tire back to hold it. Put some grease up in there. Then the washer. Put a 
a little grease, put a little grease in the center of this so everything's full of grease. Put that one in there. Everything feels good. And it looks like with the washer in there, I had not pre-fit that, that perhaps there's not enough room to get that in there, maybe. Ah, there we got it. I'll pack this all full of grease. And then there's a piece that screws in the end here. And it's got the indentation for the end of the ball in it. And it's got a slot in it for a screwdriver, but also there's a series of holes around the end of this. So when you screw it into the depth that you want it, then it's got a cotter pin that goes through and goes through this groove and holds it in place. So we'll get this screwed in here. And I don't want them super tight. I want there to be a little bit of play. But, um, so it may take a bit of adjustment because, like I say, normally there's a spring in there that holds a constant tension on there. And there's no spring now. So, let's see if we can get this adjusted. And we've got it back together. And got the cotter pin back in it. And I've turned it back and forth a few times. And it seems to be working fine. So we'll take it out. We'll mow with it. Uh, I believe we've got a good fix on here. Uh, it's a frugal way of fixing things on a homestead, which is what most of us have to do just from parts and pieces that we have laying around. I mean, I understand most of you don't have balls and seats for downhole pumps from oil wells laying around, but we do. So we use what we have. broke the little ball off of the end of the left hand shaft that turns it goes up in there where we put the where we put the new parts and I'm considering what caused that this ball is very rough and worn and I didn't think that would be a problem but perhaps with the hole in the center of those seats it might have been in a bind. Also, I had just went through a ditch up onto the driveway whenever it broke. So I don't know if that had something to do with it or not, but it's kind of back to the drawing board here. Get the welder out and the grinder and go from here. Trial and error. It's been a couple weeks since I uh, did the final fix on this uh, steering on this tractor. Wanted to make sure it was going to work before I finished up this video. Um, I wound up welding the ball back on. And then I welded up the ball and ground it down smooth. Put those two seats back in there. Did not put the washer in between them. Left this end that holds it all together screwed out as far as I could to still get the keeper in it. And so I left it loose. And um, I was out of town, and Jamie did a good bit of mowing with it. 
and we've had no more problems so it looks like we've got this fixed for virtually spending no money to do the repair so just wanted to um, show you how we fix the tractor if you like our videos hit that subscribe button hit that little bell to get notifications I've got helpers here the dogs and um, thanks for watching from Red Duchess Farm you all have a great day